Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Lee. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to talk about makeup, beauty, and skincare. Especially if you have oily skin combination and large pores with white head and blackheads problem. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to share my dry, sensitive skincare routine. I know it's a bit confusing because in my intro, I said that I have oily and combination skin, but I've been having over exfoliated skin currently, and it turns my skin into very dry and sensitive. I share my journey on my over exfoliation. I also explain how the over exfoliation happened on your skin, the sign, the um product that can make the over exfoliation also i share with you how to handle it everything on the previous video i will link it in the description box so make sure you go check it out i also update my skin condition on my instagram so be sure to follow my instagram at girly saputri first i want to share my face wash okay so i've been struggling a lot with this face wash but i recently tried this simple sensitive skin expert moisturizing facial wash okay so this is just simple moisturizing facial wash this is um one official wash that is number one in the uk for facial skincare brand and this is like 100 percent soap free foam it still has sls or sodium laureate sulfate but um compared to other facial wash uh, that has SLS it is way more gentle on my dry and sensitive skin I don't feel it's taking away my natural oil it doesn't take away the essential oil on your skin because you actually need that if you have dry skin also it doesn't make my skin feel tight and feel like I've just put a lot on my skin it's not also the over exfoliated skin sometimes sensitive skin feels burning uh, with some certain ingredients I don't feel that with this um, face wash so it is actually I definitely recommend this if you have a dry sensitive skin because this saved my life <laughs> I've never had any over exfoliation problem this is like the first time i had it and i was so confused about what facial wash should i get because i need that uh because i if i don't use facial face wash my face feel like very very heavy and stuff like that but if i use facial wash it will feel burn so i went through this simple moisturizing facial wash it feels amazing it doesn't feel tight it doesn't take away my natural oil especially if you have dry sensitive skin or if you are aging if you have an aging skin um, you know the older you are the more you need that natural oil and the less you want face wash that actually taken away all those oil you need this okay next what i want to share with you is the cleansing water so during the time when i was confused what face wash should i wear i stumbled upon this watson's cleansing water it is gentle and mild usually i use bioderma sensibio you know the famous micellar water it was great during my oily combination skin but once my skin turned into dry and sensitive i cannot use that it feels so tight it feels making i feel like it's making my skin even drier because you know how bioderma sensibio works is actually taking the oil and stuff and dirt like that and this one is actually so good okay um so this is gentle and mild micellar solution it is has it has witch hazel extract also hyaluronic acid and it's dermatologically tested and it is free from alcohol fragrance paraben soap oil color or whatever is that that can damage a dry sensitive skin and i can say that this is the only micellar water the only cleansing water that can touch my skin during my my dry and sensitive period of skin also this is so random but i don't use any cotton i don't use cotton pad i don't use um cotton whatever cotton is that i don't even use tissue because it's rough on my dry patch area over here so i use this towel this towel is so soft it's so smooth 
Um, I forgot what where did I get it. This is a oh I had this. This is 100% microfiber. It is designed in Korea, so it is, it has like two sides. This side is way smoother. This side is a bit rough. You can see this a bit rough, and then this one is way smoother. That way you can go clean your makeup, your your face with this, and it's so soft. It doesn't rub your skin too much, so so it doesn't make your skin getting way more dry or sensitive. Next is toner. I am currently loving this Nacific or Natural Pacific Real Floral Toner, the Calendula one. My friends recommended me this. She said it was great for her sensitive and dry skin and I tried this and wow, I regret I didn't get this like so long time ago because um, it gives you like a moisture not like moisture it um freshen up your skin it's like it you know that feel when you are very thirsty and then you have your sip of water it was like a relief on yourself yeah this is like the relief on my dry skin so i feel like my dry skin getting like water getting all the nutrition from this because it feels fresh it's not like moisturizing it doesn't like moisturizing enough but at least it's freshen up my skin which is a good stuff so if you have dry skin I definitely recommend it. I've never had any like hydrating toner before because I didn't need that I have oily combination before and this dry sensitive skin opened my eyes so much about skincare for dry skin the next is serum this is the ordinary marine hyaluronics this is an ultra lightweight hydration support with marine derived vegan water reservoirs. This is good for hydration and then repair your skin. You know, I have dry patch around here due to my over exfoliation. It was rough, it was um, tingling, but I've been using this every morning and night after I use my Nasific toner and it feels getting better. You know, it's, it's still I still have rough patch but it's not as bad as before I put this. I feel like this is helping the moisture and repair the moisture on my skin. So I definitely recommend this. I haven't had any full review on this because this is the first time I'm trying this. It's been like three days but don't worry I will update on you guys on how I use this on how is this doing on my skin so be sure to subscribe next in the morning i would apply this althea bare essential fixer cream i've reviewed this before check the link in the description box if you want to watch this this is um basically cream but it is very gooey and um almost gel texture it's not really tight and it doesn't have that sticky residue which is my favorite if when it comes to cream products see it blends very very well also when i apply this after i apply the ordinary marine hyaluronics it feels like it's sealing the moisture either the marine hyaluronics or this one is getting more like moisture on my skin so dry skin can relate i also love the scent it's not that strong but you know this is a Korean skincare and most of Korean skincare are having this uh, flower extract and this um, natural extract so the smell is just like a flower very nice that was the cream in the morning and then I apply sunscreen I don't change my sunscreen my skin my sunscreen is still the same It's the either the super goop unseen sunscreen or the Biore UV Aqua Rich. So during the night after I apply the serum, I apply Mamonde Enrich Nutri Sleeping Mask with Evening Primrose Flower. This was meant for dry skin and I do kind of agree that this is like great for dry skin because you know what, I've tried one of those famous sleeping masks before but it didn't work that much on my skin but this one actually works very well on my skin I reviewed this before on my channel so please check on the description box if you wanna see the details because if you have dry skin it has so many ingredients that helps your dry skin or if you are 
sleeping under the air conditioning room because sometimes air conditioning room makes your skin feels very dry this is probably going to be your best friend during the night it gives a good night sleep on your skin you wake up with a plant and radiate radiance uh, skins um, it's it's just very very good in it and it doesn't have any sticky residue okay so that is all my dry and sensitive skincare routine during my over exfoliation I am still struggling during my over exfoliation by far the redness around here is already gone already um, invisible almost invisible barely visible actually the rough patch is still here but it's getting better I will keep update on my skincare journey on my Instagram and my skin condition of course so please follow my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here I will have more content coming up thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys on my next one bye Mwah.